Hello, everybody. My name is Ricky Smith, and this is Faith on Friday Presents. At Faith on Friday Presents, we're all about highlighting inspiring people, engaging topics, and small businesses. And don't forget, while you're here, subscribe, like, and share our content. We want everybody to know what we've got going on. Today, we're going to talk about something that's pretty difficult to talk about. A lot of us are married or have been married. Some people have been divorced. But have you lost your spouse? And that can be a really traumatic thing, not just for you as the remaining spouse, but also for your family and your community, because you've been seen as a couple for a lot of years. Today, I want to introduce you to someone who has not just lost one husband, but she has lost two. Y'all, please say hello to my friend, Tracy Gaines McRae. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Hi, Ricky. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it because I know... This topic can be a little hard. Yes. Thank but you for I, No, thank you for saying yes. So, Tracy, first of all, tell me a little bit about just you. Um, and then we're going to kind of move into what's been going on with you, okay? Yes. Um, I'm Tracy Gaines McCray. I go by Gaines McCray because I have been married twice and I have children from both marriages. I'm 57 years old. I just graduated college with my bachelor's degree in psychology. Mm -hmm. I'm a licensed minister. Um, I, I try to be active. I'm active in the community and I do different things uh, on top of my health uh, not being the best. Mm -hmm. But I try to do what I need to do to be about God's purpose. Awesome. So it sounds like regardless of everything, you're still moving. Yes. Uh, that's awesome. So, Tracy, let's move into this a little bit. Like I said, you, you've lost two husbands. Yes. How old were you when you got married the first time? 19. You were 19. And how yes. long were you all married? 12 years. Man. So tell us a little bit about your first husband. What was his name? Reginald Gaines. Okay. And he was eight years older than myself. Mm -hmm. um, very patient, kind man, and if you can imagine, he was eight years older than me, so he needed to be patient with me because <laughs> I was young and dumb. So, um, and he, and he was, and and I love that he was a cook, mm -hmm. um, in the military. Okay. And so, um, we were married for twelve years, and we have a a daughter. Okay. We have a daughter. I have a daughter from them. Wow. From him. Yes. That's awesome. So it sounds like the marriage was really fun. It sounds like you grew yes. up. With <laughs> yeah. So what happened that you ended up losing him? He had early onsets of Alzheimer's. Wow. And he died in 48. Oh my gosh. That is yes. absolutely devastating. Yes. Yes. So he was 48. That made you 40 years old when yes. you became a widow. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that time, because were you his caregiver as well? Uh, for a short time, I was at the mm -hmm. beginning, and then he wanted to be with his sister. Oh, so okay. we, we, took, we moved him to Georgia, and he mm -hmm. spent the rest of his time in Georgia with his sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. So tell me, how was that for you all, you and your daughter at that time? Um, it was hard because my daughter was young. I was mm -hmm. married a long time, but I didn't have my daughter until I was 29. Okay. So mm -hmm. My daughter was six. Yeah. She was six. So it, it was really hard. Um, she, quite naturally, she didn't understand, mm -hmm. you know, what was going on. But uh, we were attending, we were attending Destiny. Oh, Christ okay. Cathedral at that time, Christ mm -hmm. Cathedral. And um, through the help of the saints and the bishop, you know, mm -hmm. she was able to, to deal with it. And stuff. Wow. How did you deal yeah. with it yourself? Because I'm sure after being married such a long time and then all of a sudden he's gone, how did you handle your nights and your days and your regular routine that you had with him? Yes, it was hard. But um, because he was living in Georgia, I didn't mm -hmm. see him every day. Wow. After moved there so 
Mm -hmm. Um, It wasn't like he was in the house every day after after he moved. Mm -hmm. So it was still hard because, you know, like, wow, I'm a, I'm a widow. My daughter goes to school. Yeah. They have father and daughter dances and things like this. And there's no one there for her. Yeah, so, that, yeah. I can't imagine. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so yeah. then time moves on as time does. Mm-hmm. And how long was it before you met your second husband? Um, My second husband, I met him like two years. Really? Two, mm-hmm. two years after... Um, my first husband died. Okay. And I didn't even like him. I didn't even <laughs> like my second husband. I was like, you need to go on about your business. I don't, I don't understand what this is. You're, you're a rough neck. Uh oh. I, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't, he, matter of fact, he had just gotten out of prison when I met him. Wow. Met him. Yes. Mm-hmm. And a friend of mine introduced me to, introduced us to each other. Really? And I said, why are you bring this roughneck over to my house? And, and he started <laughs> doing work, you know, around the house, painting and stuff like that. And my daughter, mm-hmm. she's like, oh, I like him. And she, she thought the house was on fire because the smoke detector went off. And she said, come on, come on, Mr. Wendell, let's go. And left me sitting there. Oh, my goodness. Left me sitting there. So, so she took him and left you. She took him and left me. And I said, oh, uh-uh. He said, see, she loved me. I said, uh uh-uh. uh, no, but it was so funny because he kept for a long time trying to talk to me. I didn't want to talk to him, and then we went to the club right. one day dancing, right. and I thought he was over at the club dance with another woman. And Uh-oh. I said, uh uh-uh. uh, felt a little thing like that, but it wasn't even him. <laughs> oh, goodness. So he, he already escaped possible harm to his little body. So yes. then, when did you guys end up getting married? We got married in 2000 and we started um, dating mm-hmm. like in 2000 or 98, 90, somewhere in there, like the okay. late, late 90s. Mm-hmm. And then um, we got officially got married in 2008. Okay. All right. But we have been together since like 90, 98, 90. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the okay. late 90s. And then wow. We got 2010. Okay. So wait, you got married in what year? We got officially married in 2008. And then you said he passed away when? 2010. But we had wow. been together. We had been mm-hmm. living together, you know, mm-hmm. like common law sure. since the late 90s. Yeah. Okay. And what happened to him that he passed away? He had uh, complications from diabetes. He's, okay. He was mm-hmm. acidosis. Oh, wow. Okay. So yes. now here you are. Now, how old are you at this time when, when your second um, husband died? I don't know. Let me see. 13, what am I? 47, 57. Mm. Uh, I, I'm so bad with numbers. I'm That's okay. <laughs> and so he died 13 years ago. So. Oh, wow. My goodness. Yeah. So yeah. now yeah. You, you've lost a second husband. What is going through your mind right now at that time? I was devastated. You know, I was, I couldn't believe that it was happening again. I, yeah. I just, you know, it's hard, you know, one time it's hard and my daughter lost uh, um, yeah. another father. She was 16. Sure. Yeah. Wow. And, so, and it was, it was really hard and for a long time. Mm-hmm. He died and, um, but he wasn't at home. Right. Okay. So our, he had two children. So those are my mm-hmm. children. Mm-hmm. And he was at our son's house. Okay. At a fish fry. And he died. He collapsed on the way home. He oh, no. Home. And so, so he didn't die in the house. Yeah. And we saw him again. I went to the coroner's office. They wouldn't let me see him. Mm-hmm. And so we didn't see him again. And so uh, my daughter and I, my youngest and I, we figured that he was in witness protection. That was that was our way of coping. Right. Oh you know, gosh. He didn't and it took a really long time. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, it took a, a really long time. I was I was just existing for many yeah. years. Oh, for I can years. imagine. I was just I... existing, you know, I wasn't uh really present. I wasn't present and so Yeah, I, I, I cannot imagine that kind of pain the second time. What was your support system like at that time, Tracy? Who was with you? My mother um, and my church family. 
Yeah. My mother and my children. Like by then I was born, I was at St. Peter Mission Baptist Church. Okay. So it was my mother, my church family. I had mm-hmm. some friends. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't wow. really my kids because they were suffering. It was bad. Of course. How did yeah. you help them? Because, you know, you're the mom. You've lost a second husband. You have these children now who are looking at you as to how to act. What should we do? And you are mourning yourself. How were you able to help them get through? Or what did you tell them? I really, honestly, I really wasn't able to help them too much because I was, and I really got sick at that time, really to where I was lethargic. I couldn't mm. feed myself. Yeah. I had to home care. Mm. Um, so yeah, I really, I really, the first f- at least five years, I couldn't help them. Oh at my all. goodness. Bless your I, heart. I was doing really bad. I was yeah. doing really, I had a nurse come every day. Mm-hmm. I was on a whole lot of fentanyl. They had me on a whole lot of medication. I bet. All I, I did was cry. All I did oh, was cry. Oh, sure. You know, of course. Man. So Tracy, in all that time, what is it that helped you come out of that sort of depression to be where you are right now? Just time mm-hmm. and God and leaning on God and depending mm-hmm. on God. You know, and I had to come to a realization that, you know, this was God's plan. And what stopped mm-hmm. me from crying was one day I was just crying, crying, crying. And, and I heard God tell me, you know what? You might have lost two husbands, but you haven't buried not one child. Oh, wow. And so that's that's what, you know, kind of like, mm-hmm. you know, I said, oh, you know, you know, yeah. and it's true. It's people that has have lost their children. Mm-hmm. They have lost their children. Yeah. And so and um that's that's I think to me that would be more devastating for me to lose sure. somebody I carried. Yeah. Than to lose a man I was in love with. Not that I didn't love them because sure. you, know, you love them, you become one. Yeah. And that's how I was able to separate it and mm-hmm. to, you know, get myself together. And, and keep um, moving. Yeah. And my youngest daughter, when I took her to college, because I lost a lot of people, uh right after my second husband died. My children's godfather died. Which mm-hmm. was my best friend, he died wow. a few months later. And mm-hmm. so like a whole bunch of people had like nine people died in that one year. My goodness. So um, so my my outlook on death, you know, was different and mm-hmm. and, and how I handled things. So when sure. I took my daughter to college, people kept saying, Oh, did you cry? You took your baby? No, I didn't cry because she's yeah. not dead. But I kept telling right. her. Mm-hmm. You know, I can call on the telephone. They would look at me because that's that's my perspective. Sure. On things, you know, that yeah. um, as, as long as you're not dead, I, I can, you know, mm-hmm. I can deal with it, you know. So. Yeah, that's so true. And and what a great way to put, get, put that into perspective because it's easy to yeah. look at the constant negative, but to look up yes. and say, well, this yes. didn't happen, so therefore I'm okay. You know, yes. and, and that that's really neat. So, Tracy, mm-hmm. how are you now? How are things going now? You know, I, I know you said it's been 13 years since your second husband passed away. Um, yes. What What are you up to now? Well, I um, like I guess I just finished school on mm-hmm. April 29th. Praise Woo-hoo! God. Yay. <laughs> um, I'm an active member at my church. Um, mm-hmm. I, I'm a member of the CRC in the community. We okay. we uh, work with juvenile boys. It's a oh, okay. Juveniles. Mm-hmm. And then, so I do that. And then, uh, you know, when my grandkids or whoever <laughs> needs me to do whatever, I, you know, I try to the best of my ability. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's wild. Tracy, I know one time we had talked earlier and you had said that you had gotten involved with a widow's group. What's the name of the group? That it's you're with. called um, Morning Glory, M O U R E N Glory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, okay. and it's, it's it's a widow support group. It mm-hmm. started as a widow support group, and the president, uh, her husband died, and then mm-hmm. her father died. So her and wow. her mother started, mm-hmm. and then now her mother has passed on. But um, yeah. now they have anybody if you're divorced. Mm-hmm. Um, you lost a child, even people that haven't lost anybody, they're there to support, like support yeah. mm-hmm. things like that's, this. That's great. So Tracy, yeah. what would you tell somebody watching this who has lost their spouse? What kind of encouragement would you give to them? Um, just to hold on to God, trust God, trust God. It may hurt, 
um, you may be in denial. You have to go through all the different stages of grief mm. and go through all those different stages. Um, yeah. Don't get stuck on one. You can grieve a long period of time, but don't get stuck in one stage because yeah. you can't you can't develop or, or move on. And just you just have to know that God has a plan. That God has a plan, and everything is to glorify Him. It's for His purpose. Yeah, you know, that is God, so good and so it, true. Yes. Whether you understand it right now or not, like yes. you said, time is the yes. thing that you need it. Tracy, I yes. really appreciate you sharing this story. And for you all who are watching, I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our content. You never know what someone's going to need. Tracy, my friend, before I let you go, we have to play a game. <laughs> okay. All right. So this game is really simple. It's called This or That. I'm going to give you the choice of two things and you okay. just tell me which one you like the best. Are you ready to okay. play? Yes. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Grits or oatmeal? Ooh, Lord. Oh. Old man. Okay. <laughs> At the yellow light, do you speed up or slow down? I slow down. Okay. When you're shopping, do you like it online or in the store? Online. I don't I don't do too much store stuff. I okay. I know a lot of people don't anymore. When you're flying, do you like the aisle seat or the window seat? The best part of flying is when the plane lands. <laughs> but if I got to be on the plane, I want to be on the aisle. Okay. All right. Your toilet paper roll. Is it over or under? Over. Okay. I see the debate continues. All right. House slippers or barefoot? Barefoot. TikTok or Twitter? Oh, uh, Twitter. Okay. East coast or West coast? East coast. I'm from South Philly. All right. I said y'all represent. Okay. Yeah. Exercise yeah. or extra fries? Ooh, Lord, extra fries. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even mad. I know. Ooh. Reality TV, yes, please, or I just can't? Yes, please. Really? Okay. Yes. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Takes your <laughs> Target, mind off of stuff. Yes, it does. Target or Walmart? Walmart. All right, Super Bowl, the game or the commercials? If the Eagles are playing the game, if not, the commercials. I know, fly Eagles, fly. I'm a big, huge <laughs> Eagles fan, there it goes. And yes. finally, my friend, what is one thing that people don't know about you that you wish they did? That... I I want I, I think positive about everybody, you know. I and I I really believe that everybody has a purpose, and and I think positive about them. Um, okay. Um, we all you know we all go through stuff, and we all might act different at certain times because of the things that we go through. Yeah. Right. But um, I, I would like people to know that I I try to have compassion for mm. everybody for the things nice. they're going. Yes. Well, awesome. Tracy, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. No problem. And for everybody watching, that's it for this time. But don't worry, we'll be back next week with more Faith on Friday Presents.